Oh, hello, YouTube. It's good to see you all again. Uh, yesterday, I posted a, a little uh, hint at what I was going to show you all today. And uh, so, let me tell you about it. Oh, well, my friends uh, and I, we uh, have a realm going on where we can kind of, you know, play whenever we want. We've got my girlfriend and her brother and some of my friends together. And he uh, recently decided to build himself a house. And I thought to myself, what if we, uh, what if we build something uh, kind of hidden in his house? You know, something inconspicuous, something he doesn't know about. Maybe, uh, maybe you want to know about it. We can keep it secret for him for a little while and then show it to him later. So uh, let me, uh, let me show you what it is. You uh, go over here. He's been kind of building himself a little castle here. As you can see, he's been adding a uh, stone brick and things down here but uh let me uh let me show you so yesterday i should do a video of uh, all this down here right you know but we've uh we've changed some stuff since the last time we've got ourselves a nice little uh area that goes down here um, i added a sign that says you know storage room so n nothing uh Nothing suspicious, right? Just a sign. Remind me where the storage is, or remind him where his storage room is. So you go down here, you know, and we got ourselves a nice little uh, little storage area. Got a little ender chest with stuff inside, double chests, you know, barrels, crafting table, got a little armor set or armor stand so you, you know, you can take armor off and Put it on if you wanted to, right? And put it back on. All that good jazz. So, you know, nothing, nothing conspicuous here, you know. Or nothing suspicious here. Uh, we've got a cauldron with water. A little place where you can brew some potions. Looks like some uh, cobwebs have formed since yesterday. Got ourselves something growing here. Some pots with flowers in them. Barrels so we could put things in. He's got himself a little uh, crafting area, or a little enchanting area. Got an enchanting table, some lapis. You know, he's got himself some some books in here, mending. You know, not anvil, more storage, nothing crazy. He even got himself a little banner. But uh, you know, I uh, maybe made a little little something where we can kind of like come in and just you know go in. So if we come over here and. We aim in the middle, uh, where this guy's nose is. We press this. Oh, would you look at that? A little little area comes in here. And we can just go on through. Press a little button. Shing, shing. Then we can walk in, and it'll close in behind us. Right? And then if you wanted to leave, you could press a little button here. And it comes out. And then it just kind of, shink, goes back. Nothing crazy, right? So uh, let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and uh, show the 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 video why we all came here. Even though that's really part of the of the whole ordeal, then you know you walk down here with uh, all the ladders and get to this first part here. Get ourselves a little crafting table, furnace, and stuff so people can cook food, create stuff while they're watching and this is uh and this is it we've got ourselves some gates so if you wanted to people could stand up here and watch jump around and be safe or you can open the gate and you can like throw stuff down uh down into the the ring itself and we kind of have a little idea about uh what i uh was thinking of um it, basically you would have two fighters down there and you'd have people who are betting on one fighter on this side and another fighter on that side. And then, you know, you've got pieces of armor up here that you can take. And if you want to, you can throw it down into the ring. And then maybe your fighter will pick it up and you'll be more likely to win. We've got ourselves some uh, swords and bow and axe and some arrows and food and some god apples in here if you wanted to give them a god apple and then on this row which is kind of like a free-for-all people can pick up potions and crossbows 
tridents, lava bucket, other stuff here and kind of throw them down. Ooh, a little thunder up there. But, uh, yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking of. Got ourselves a nice little chandelier here. My girlfriend was the one who came up with this design. Uh, then I guess I'll show you what's downstairs. So if you come downstairs, you've got the actual, uh, you know, ring itself. Got ourselves a nice iron bars and then the thing. And this is where people will, you know, place their bets. So they would open up the, the barrel and take the book and quill and then they would write their bets in it. And the, the person who works behind here, you know, you get your little trap door and take your little armor off and then you can kind of sit back here and, you know, take bets and all that good jazz. And if you wanted to, you can go over here and I even made a little closet where you can put your uh, armor and stuff. Or whoever's working back there, you know. And close the door and down here we've got uh, another book and quill. And uh, we, down here we got some totems. This is kind of like a restocking of uh, over there. Got a double chest. Some people could put, the person working back here, we could put other supplies and things we want. Got a books where we keep all of our previous bets and stuff. Got a barrel with some random wood in it for some reason, but you know, then you can close it up and you come over here. And so over here, this is where the fighters will enter. Uh, you'll put your old armor that you were wearing on here. And then you'll open this up and you'll take your totem and your cobblestone. And then you'll put your totem on and the cobble. And then you'll press on this plate here and then you'll go inside. And uh, then you'll fight. And the first person to have their totem pop loses. And once you enter, you cannot leave. Uh, there's only one, there's only a way in, not a way out. So someone who uh, works here is going to have to open up the pressure plate to get you out. Looks like we've uh, got some more cobwebs down here. Freaking spiders. But uh, yeah. That's it. This is my uh, little fight club that I made. Maybe we can uh, make some money. You know, have my friends come down here and fight each other and see who the better fighter is. So I hope you liked the video. And I will talk to you all later.